Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you're new here, my name is Sharon. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, I'm gonna share with you shrimp and kava tapi pasta with mozzarella sauce. The ultimate comfort food and it's super simple to make. Let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is put on a pot of boiling water and I'm gonna cook some kavatavi pasta according to the instructions on the box. Now, while the pasta's cooking, I'm gonna saute some garlic. So that's three garlic cloves chopped, a little bit of uh, olive oil, and a little bit of the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes. Put this on low. I had this meal when I was in Italy one night and it was so good. I've been making it uh, since I got back. Now I'm gonna add my shrimp. That is a pound and a half of shrimp peeled, deveined, and the tails are off, and it's raw. You can use cooked shrimp if you want to. Um, you would just cook it, of course, a lot less. You just heat it through more than anything, so it doesn't get rubbery. sun-dried tomatoes that I used some of the oil. This knife is just not big enough. I drained the oil off of the tomatoes, the sun-dried tomatoes, and added them in with the shrimp. And now I'm just going to chunk up a few. I added the sun-dried tomatoes in with the shrimp and the garlic. I only added a little bit of the sun-dried tomatoes because um, they're a little strong. I only like a little bit. But you add as much uh, sun-dried tomatoes as you like. The shrimp is done. It's feeling a little firm. It looks a little pink. So I'm going to take it out. half and half to the pan. Then I'm gonna add my mozzarella, my fresh mozzarella. You can use shredded. This happens to be the kind you use for caprese. But just so long as it's fresh mozzarella. And that's a little bit of the um, oil from the sun-dried tomatoes. At this point, you could put your sun-dried tomatoes into your sauce. I prefer to put my sun-dried tomatoes in with my shrimp because I like them to cook a little longer. And a little paprika. Thank you. 
And at this point, if you have crusty bread, now would be the time that you preheat your oven for about, um, I usually do about 400. So you can add your garlic, um, your garlic butter, your garlic and basil butter onto your bread. So it's time for that to go in the oven now. It looks like my sauce is done. Now I'm going to add the shrimp back in. The shrimp and the sun-dried tomatoes go back in. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my shrimp cavatati pasta in a mozzarella sauce. As I said earlier, it's super simple to make and it tastes fantastic. If you did, hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice. This way you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos multiple times a week. Don't forget, when you get a chance, stop by my second channel, Creative Glam Crafts. Don't forget to like and share because it helps my channel to grow. And on that note, you have a blessed day and I'll see you right here next time on Creative Glam. It's time to eat. Bye.